So we've got a lot of great partners here in the city of Racine. We have been working with them consistently, and we are very proud of the fact that uh, we have a friend in HUD, and we have a friend in the Honorable Antonio Riley, and I will let him speak about the Section 3 program and the work that we're doing. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. <coughs> Good morning, and thank you very much, uh, Mayor Dicker, for your leadership here in Racine and for your partnership with the administration. Let me say on behalf of President Obama and Secretary Castro, I am honored to be with you this morning. You know, we gather here today for a very simple purpose. That is to give more Americans the opportunity to contribute to the development and the growth of their own communities. This purpose has been driving HUD's Section 3 initiative for some five decades now. It began in 1968 with the very basic premise that low-income families should have the chance to secure employment when HUD-funded projects are, are occurring in their neighborhoods. And we at HUD wholeheartedly commend the city of Racine for their proactive approach in facilitating training employment opportunities for low-income residents through the Section 3 program. We are talking about jobs on construction sites, and carpentry, and painting, and plumbing, office jobs like accounting and payroll and bookkeeping, service jobs like landscaping, transportation, and marketing. Across the, across the board, Section 3 has been a platform upon which folks can better their own lives. It provided generations of Americans with a chance to gain experience, to build up their resumes, to secure professional references, and to build their own careers. These efforts have transformed lives across the nation, spark economic activity in all areas of the country. From 2009 to 2014, HUD has created some 170,000 jobs for low-income workers through this initiative. This represents about half of all new hires that resulted from HUD-funded projects. And our entire nation wins when every person is given a chance to apply their talent and their work ethic to strengthen their own community. Now, we want to see more positive activity like we're seeing here today. We want to see this from coast to coast across the country, which is why we launched a Section 3 business registry pilot in 2012 in five cities, including Detroit, Miami, Los Angeles, New Orleans, and Washington, D.C. It was created to address a challenge that our stakeholders, that they were facing, how to find and to connect with one another. It helps public housing authorities to identify Section 3 businesses that are out there. It helps businesses to learn about contracting opportunities. And it helps folks looking for work to determine which firms are actually hiring. In total, it is about bringing different community assets together for a common good. Over 1,000 businesses have signed up so far, but we love to see that number increase uh, for businesses represented here in Racine and throughout the state of Wisconsin. We would love to give firms more opportunities to get involved. Uh, the Section 3 Business Registry is now available nationwide to bolster the chance that every American has to build a more prosperous future. Now, to complement this work, Secretary Julian Castro recently, announcing, re recently announced that we are proposing a new rule to improve Section 3 uh, to help public housing authorities and HUD grantees to comply with the guidelines of the program. That rule is now is uh, is, uh, is is now it's up for public comment, but the rule is now that way we're doing it now is far too confusing and vague. We're changing that so that our partners can bold, can bolder can can be more bolder with their efforts, and we're taking comments as I mentioned before through May 26 on the new proposed Section 3 rule. Now we expect that uh, this to direct an additional 1,400 jobs to Section 3 residents and an additional $172 million in HUD-funded contracts to Section 3 companies as well. But in conclusion, let me say this, that at the end of the day, the work that we are doing, it is about opportunity. It's about giving folks the opportunity to obtain a job and to help strengthen their own neighborhood. It's about giving businesses, large and small, the opportunity to access broader talent pool. And it's about giving communities the opportunity to work together, to grow together, to prosper together. Section 3 has been securing these opportunities for nearly some 50 years, and with the steps that we are announcing here today, it is poised to do the same for the next 50 years.